Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Altrady. In this video we will go over the new features added in release 4.1. Okay, so it's been a few months since release 4.0 and uh, as mentioned in the previous release video, uh, we have now released paper trading absolutely free for everyone. So if you just want to get used to the platform and you want to try it out, then no worries, you don't need to pay anything. You can just use the paper trading account and test out all the features that we have in the platform. Now, if you're not sure how to create a paper trading account, then when you get to the Altrady platform, uh, you probably see that you don't have trading enabled. So you can just click on the button API key settings and create paper trading account like this. It's only available on the spot exchanges. So for now, we'll just select Binance as our account. And then we can start trading. Now, next to making paper trading free, we've also added a few features for the smart positions, which are the trailing take profit and the trailing stop loss. So how do you set up a trailing take profit? Well, first you have to start with a normal entry and then you go over to the take profit. And a very common thing to do is to sell 75% on your first target and 25% on your second target. But as you already made a lot of profit on the first target, you might want to extend the profit and follow the price upwards um, and only sell on a downwards movement. To do that, you can just click on the enable trailing for last target. Now, as you can see, there will be another stop price added to your take profit list and a trigger price. This is the price that will keep moving up if the price moves through it. And then as soon as the price drops down, it will hit your stop trigger and it will execute the order. So this is a great way to extend your profit. But make sure that you don't have the distance too sharp to it, otherwise you get stopped out immediately on the first bounce up, and you might not ride the full wave up. So that's for the trailing take profit. Now sometimes that you have, when you have multiple take profit targets, you don't want to turn it into a loss after your first take profit target is hit. You, you really want to make sure that you lock in those profits and that you don't turn a winning position into a losing position. So the way to do that would be to add a stop loss and then add the protection type for average entry. What this means is that after the first take profit target is reached, the stop loss price will be moved to the average entry price, which in this case would be your first buy. So as soon as this one is hit, the stop price will be moved to your average entry price. The other option would be is that if you have multiple take profit targets, so you add another one, then you could say follow the take profit. So what that will do is that will first go to the average entry, after that will go to take profit one, and after that will go to take profit two. And then as soon as take profit three is hit, then everything is removed and your position is fully in profit. Now the other thing that you might want to do is that if you have a, a percentage that's fairly high uh, and the price just goes about halfway, that you want to lock in those profits. You, you don't want to turn it into a loss. So what you can do then is you can do follow price. So this means that we can set a trailing step stop loss halfway up to the first profit target and then with a distance from the uh, trailing stop loss price. What this will do is that if the price goes up and hits your trailing stop loss, the stop loss will be moved here. So you don't need to wait for the take profit. You can immediately lock in those profits to ensure that the uh, profitable position does not turn into a loss. And then, of course, it will keep riding up until it hits your take profit target one, and then even further until it hits your take profit target two. And any time where the price drops back to your stop loss distance, it will execute the stop loss order and lock in the profit. Now, the other thing that we've added is the risk calculator. The risk calculator allows you to calculate the risk for each position that you take and what your risk reward ratio will be. So if we just set up a position, so we decided to enter here and we decide to do our take profit right here on this top level. And then we do our stop loss just below the base right there. So how do you know what your risk reward ratio is? You can use the trading view long position function like so. And it will tell you that it's about 1.8 ratio. So when we go over to the form, we can actually see that our risk reward ratio is 1.6. And every time that we move 
the price up and down, you can see the risk reward ratio changing. So that's step one, to maintain a healthy risk reward ratio. The other step would be to make sure that you have the correct percentage of your portfolio at risk. So let's say you want to risk 1% of your portfolio on a trade, but you have a stop loss of 3.5%. How much of your portfolio can you then use to still maintain that 1% risk? So if you use 100% of your funds, then your risk would be equal to the stop loss side. So this is 3.47%, as the stop loss is at 3.47%. But we only wanted 1%. So how do we calculate that? Well, if you just type in 1% right here, then your position size will be automatically updated. So now we use 28% instead of 100%. And we ensure that our risk is now 1%, which is equal to $100 of our paper trading account. And then every time that I change the stop loss price, you will see that it maintains that 1% risk, and it will increase or decrease the position size based on the risk that we're taking. So the smaller it gets, the more that we can spend. But our profit target will still be the same, and our loss will also be the same. So this is a great way to maintain a fixed risk-reward ratio, and also ensure that your losses and, and profits on all your positions are equal to the previous one. And you can really start growing that account. All right, that's it for the major updates in release 4.1. Please go over the release notes to see what else we fixed in this release. And then we'll see you again on the release 4.2 update.